Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are here inside of a Pokemon Center after making very little progress in the first episode. Well, just to recap what happened last time, we started our first attempt, got a Deoxys as our starter Pokemon, and then they immediately died. So now we're on our second attempt at this challenge, and here is the current team. Our first Pokemon, our starter Pokemon, Chicken Sleepy Face. And of course we got Shronky as well. So those are our two Pokemon. Cyanus with the get uh, the ten gifted subs. Holy crud, dude. Thank you so much, Cyanus. Jeez. That is a way to start an episode. And you might have noticed the game lags a little bit sometimes. It do be doing that. I think it's just a part of uh emulating this game. But we let it rock, we just deal with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get healed up. We just did that. And I'm thinking, guys, we're going to put Chicken back up front. Here's my reasoning. They're a Dunsparce. That's all you need to know. Dunsparce, the best Pokemon of all time, except for Poliwrath. But uh, aside from that, dude. Okay, guys. We're going to get back into this town. Now, if you look at the bottom screen, there's a little flag right there pointing us where to go. I'm just going to follow that. You know, the game's holding my hand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it do that. Here we are. You see the trainer school. What the crud was that? Yo, Viz, thank you so much for the sub. We got Red Bull right here. Psycho, use Rainbow Beans for Insta Max Affection for the affection bonuses. That is if you're going to use those in the Nuzlocke. Dude, if I find a Rainbow Bean, I will do it. I will do it gladly. Yo, Rod, with the 500 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for streaming today because today's your birthday. Guys, can we get some happy birthdays in chat for Rod Gamer? Holy crud, dude. Happy birthday, man. Bro, we already got the king of Pokemon. We sure do. So here's the thing, guys. We had a bit of a conundrum in the last stream because we weren't sure how to count different routes. You might have noticed we got to this new area. It's still technically Route 1, but because, because of how Pokemon Sun and Moon do things, they kind of split individual routes into a bunch of sub-routes. So it is Route 1, but it's Route 1 Trainer School, so we're, we've decided that, or I've decided, we're going to count the different sub-areas as different areas for the Nuzlocke. So even though it's still Route 1, it's a different part of Route 1, so I will count that as an area. If we actually could catch something here, I will allow me to catch something here. Yo, Delta, welcome to the stream. Arch, thank you so much for the sub, dude. I feel like my stuffy nose is slowly clearing up. Maybe as I talk some more, it'll go away. Started the stream here with a little bit of a stuffy nose, but we got the poison barb. That's pretty cool. I don't know if we can actually beat her up. I'm guessing... Actually, guys, I'm almost positive we could catch a Pokemon here. Because I vaguely remember catching a Grimer here when I first played this game. There is an item. I'm getting that for sure. Don't play Ultra Sun. Dude, I'm on Ultra Moon. I'm on Ultra Moon. We're good. A couple of characters having a chat right there. Yes, right here. Okay. Okay, if we get into this grass... Oh, where's the where's the entrance? We should be able to catch something here. Do not block me. Uh... Hooray, I did it, guys. We opened fence. Okay. Don't play Ultra Moon. Aw, oh, jeez. Green Mountain, thank you so much for the sub. I got the... We got the scam train. Thank you so much for the scam train, guys. Here we go. Our first new Pokemon of the day. What is it going to be? Something good. Come on, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me, dude? Well. Uh. Yeah, we got Bidoof, dude. Heck yes. We got the ultimate team, Dunsparce and Bidoof. Okay, Nature's Madness is pretty great because it does half their HP, so we don't have to worry about knocking this guy out. Let's get him. So that'll do exactly half, and then we can do it again. What was that? I did not read that. Conversion, are you a Porygon? He's now an electric type, that's totally fine. Nature's Madness going in a second time here. The run has been blessed. Dude, we got Shronky, Bidoof, and Dunsparce. This is ridiculous. Okay, Ocean Bagel with a 51 month sub. Thank you so much, dude. Guys, I know it's just Bidoof, but let's go ahead and hold down that B. We are going to catch this crud. Let's get him. Holding down B so hard right now. Come on, game. Come on. And first try, we got him. All right. Guys, what do we name Bidoof? I, I guess if we look at Bidoof's name backwards, it's like food. 
Psy Shock? Do I want Psy Shock? 80 power? Physical damage, that is strange. So I guess it uses your special stat or your special attack stat and the opponent's physical defense stat. I'm guessing that's how that works. Uh, what would I even get though? That seems like a good move, but I don't know what I'd get rid of here because Crunch is pretty good. Spike Cannon is ridiculous. Nature's Madness, very good for catching Pokemon. And Bone Meringue? I don't know. Guys, do you think I should get rid of Bone Meringue for Psy Shock? Do you guys think it's worth it? I don't know if uh, if Dunsparce actually has good special attack. They do. Their special attack is actually better than their physical attack. But don't get rid of it. Uh, okay, okay, we'll keep we'll keep what we got here. Keep old moves. I saw a bunch of you guys posting in the chat names we should do for Badoof. Can you guys spam those names again? I can't, I kind of missed them right there. I was too busy thinking about Psy Shock. Name it eats food. Uh, hmm. <laughs> name him Johnson. Doof Eternal. That's a pretty good name. But Doof? Uh, guys, what about this name? What do you guys think about Ganon Doof? That's a pretty good name, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we got Ganon Doof. All right, hopefully this guy actually has a good set of moves aside from conversion. Let's go take a look here. What is Ganon? Dude, Ganon is uh, the villain from Legend of Zelda. Well, Ganondorf. Ganondorf is Ocarina of Time villain. Guys, we got Electro Ball, Natural Glyph, Gift, Flare Blitz. Um, I don't know if Flare Blitz is a good idea in a Nuzlocke. We're going to take a lot of recoil damage. But uh, that's kind of cool. What was our ability? Illusion. I don't know what that does. Let me click the little eye icon here. Let's click that. Comes out disguised as the Pokemon in the party's last spot? Huh. What the crud? That's kind of weird. Conversion Badoo. <laughs> okay, we're going to get back out of here because I do need to heal up that Badoo. There might be some uh, trainers to fight. That Zoroark's ability? All right, then. We got something going there. I'm going to try to get past all these trainers without running into any of them. So basically the plan, guys, now that we have the experience share, I should be able to go and just knock out a bunch of trainers and get all my dudes powered up super easily. Imposter Badoo. Ray Casper, or R. Casper with the 300 bits. Dude, thank you so much, man. If you had to make an all-star team from every Nuzlocke you've ever done, what six Pokemon would be on that team? Oh, gosh dang it. Clevy, I moved the mouse. I did it. But now your mouse is lonely. Are the types random? No, the types are not random. I don't like to randomize types or stats, but I randomize everything else. I randomize the movesets, the evolutions, uh, the... The, um, I guess that's kind of it, isn't it? So if I had to make a star team, I'd ask you guys that. What do you think is like the six best Pokemon I've ever had in Nuzlocke? It's kind of tough to say because I've done so many of them. Probably Giga Noodle. Probably Old Mold. Uh, probably... I, I was going to say Road Frog. I don't know if Road Frog would be top six, but Road Frog was pretty good. Lily Pants, maybe. Lily Pants is pretty crazy. Trunks, yeah, Trunks is pretty good. But the Agron, I would say Old Mold. Old Mold was probably the strongest Pokemon we ever had. Old Mold was just crazy. Can I not fight these guys? Fight me! Do I have to talk to them first? There we go! They've got their precious Bonsly. Let's see if we can defeat their precious Bonsly here. Juggler Daniel, let's go. And what do they got? Trico, dude, we are starting off easy today. So Trico is probably going to die to like one, maybe two spike cannons. Once again, for anyone who missed the first stream, our ability on Dunsparce is adaptability. And what that does is it makes it so same type attack bonus attacks are two times damage instead of 1.5 times damage. So spike cannon does 40 power per hit, which is pretty good. So we can do as much as 200 uh, base power if we get all five swings. There's one. We just need three. We only need three. There it is, dude. Yo, uh, V, we are pretty much just getting started. The only thing we've done so far is catch our first Pokemon, which was Bidoof. We got Bidoof there. 
Yo, Sheer Cold on Blissey is pretty powerful. Man, I can't remember their name. I know we had a Pure Power Kangaskhan at one point. Does anyone rem remember the name of the Pure Power Kangaskhan we had? Let me go over here. I think there was another kid to fight. So this guy did not want to fight, right? Yeah, what about these kids? Battle me! I guess they're trading Pokemon. Uh, which would win in a matchup between Fire type and Grass type? Water? <laughs> Why can I choose water? Between Fire and Grass? I'll say Fire? You know what, dude? What happens if I if I say Water? I think Kangaskhan had no nickname. That sounds right for some reason. Sorry, I can't watch the stream. My Twitch, my Twitch keeps glitching. Oh, no. Well, thanks for stopping by, Dane. If you have a Blissey, call it B17. What? Why that? It didn't have a nickname? Oh, no. Okay, let's go for fire. Do I get a special item? You sure? I'm pretty sure it's not. Are you messing with us? I'm not messing with you. Holy crud. Okay, so there was another kid down here. I'm going to go beat them up. Dude, Snuggles was pretty cool, but Snuggles was like, how did I miss this ball? Give me that ball, dude. Ice Stone. Yo, okay, let me see. Can any of my Pokemon evolve with an Ice Stone? No, okay. I mean, I guess the only one that even could evolve would be Bidoof, but yeah, evolutions are randomized. How did I miss this ball? Dive Ball, okay. Dude, Lock on Sheer Cold is always pretty good. Yo, welcome to the stream, Poison. We caught a Bidoof. And now we're going to fight Ghost Rider Mark. So pretty much the only thing that's happened today was catching Bidoof. Got Oon Pheasant coming in. Not going to be able to Bone Meringue that guy. Honestly, against most opponents, Spike Cannon is the way to go. Because here's the thing. Even if Crunch was super effective, right? That would be 160 power. Spike Cannon, if it gets four swings, it's already that. And it could get five and do more. I would still probably go for Crunch just for more consistency. But technically, Spike Cannon could be more powerful than a super effective crunch, which is crazy. Ice Stone doesn't work on Eevee. Really? I thought that's how you got Glaceon. Okay, let's go for a second Spike Cannon here. Ow! Are we good? They dropped my attack. I don't know if that'll matter. It might matter. No! I only got two. Okay, go for... Let's just go for crunch. Wrap it up here. They keep dropping my attack stat. Not a big fan of that, dude. Xbox has an item. That's true, guys. Xbox could be a part of a dream team, even if they're not that great in battle. I mean, the, the pickup, pretty good. The Grimer I found in the tall grass near the school, school was defeated. When I first played Pokemon Sun, I used Alolan Grimer, and they were fantastic. Okay, so all these kids are going to give me different tips. I got to admit, guys, this is pretty cool. I, I think I like this style of uh, this style of Pokemon training school because a lot of generations, you'd go to the training school and you'd pretty much just like read a bunch of billboards or uh, chalkboards and stuff. But here they kind of give you some advice while you go and beat people up, which is pretty cool. The best Nuzlocke Pokemon is Old Mold. I'm going to have to agree with that one. That was ridiculous. I mean, there were some folks that were not a big fan of Old Mold just because the battles tended to take a long time, but you know what, dude? I I enjoyed that crud. It's kind of how I play anyways. Like, whenever I do a Pokemon series, even if it's not a Nuzlocke, I somehow always end up choosing a bunch of slow defensive Pokemon. Not every time, but I usually end up with more of those types of Pokemon than most people would use, I think. Yo, Senadine, thank you so much for the 14-month resub. I miss Giga Noodle so bad. What if we just find another Giga Noodle, guys? We've got a fantastic team already. I mean, our team is just full of legendaries, so I'm sure we'll find some more legendaries. Yo, Quick Claw. All right, dude. Guys, who is my slowest Pokemon? Who should I give this Quick Claw to? I guess I can just check the summary here. So let's see. We've got some low speed. 25. 14. 12. Okay. Uh... Well, the thing is, Bidoof is only 12, but they are also only level 8. So I think Dunsparce overall might be slower. Level 100 Dunsparce. I forgot we did that. Was that Soul Silver? I think that was Soul Silver. All right, let's go give this Quick Claw to Mr. Chicken. Bidoof can evolve. That's also true. That is also true. 
Does anyone know what level Bidoof evolves at? I think it's not till like 18, right? Oops, I did not mean to leave there. Um, Kai. So yeah, you got it right the second time. Quick Claw gives a random chance to go first. So uh, even if we're like way slower, we do have a chance to go before our opponent, which is pretty cool. I guess we can't go up here. I don't know exactly what we're doing, guys. Can I just leave? Can I just get out of here? Um, I think I've done everything. So now do I just go talk to Professor Kukui again? Hi, buddy. I did all the things. Really? Can I just go away now? I, I feel like I'm done here. Dude, it still wants me to go there. Okay, let me click this icon and see what happens. Um, I want to go here. Can I zoom in? Enhance! So if I go like this... What do I have to do here? <laughs> That's what I want to know, guys. What am I actually doing here? I need to get to 10 Carat Hill for sure, because there I can get some new Pokemon. Touch the road, Tommy. He's sad, boy. He is sad. Why is he so sad? Hey, Psycho, is Bunwiz part of your dream team? I would say Bunwiz is a part of the dream team if we're just trying to pick some fan favorites. But if we're trying to pick the six strongest, I don't know if Bunwiz would make it. Look for other trainers inside the school. Gotcha. So we do have to battle all the trainers. Did we go through this door already? We can't go through there. We've talked to them. We've talked to them. Oh, what about inside here? Okay, that's probably what we missed. There it is. Class is in session. Just us strolling on in. Let's go to talk to every kid right here. Does anyone want to fight me? Does anyone want to battle? Yes, there we go. Yo, they've got a Metapod. Guys, I don't know if we can defeat a Metapod. That is some strong stuff right there. Also, welcome to the stream meet night. We got Director Cammy with one Pokemon, and it's going to be a Breloom. Guys, Breloom? I'm gonna say it, guys. Breloom? Kinda cute. I think Breloom's a cute Pokemon. Yo, we got Bug Buzz, though. This guy is Bug Fight, or he's Grass Fighting. I can't remember if Grass resists. Or, uh, I can't remember if Fighting versus Bug. I'm just going to go for it. Dude, Shroomish is not cute. Breloom kind of cute. Shroomish not cute at all. So that was not super effective. They do have a berry right there. Probably just an Orin Berry, right? That was... That was an Orin Berry? That healed a lot. Does an Orin Berry heal more than 10 in this generation? Let's go for another Bug Buzz. This might not kill here. I probably should have gone for Moon Geyser Blast or whatever the crud. But it looks like we got them anyways. Cool. Dude, Shroomish is not cute. Breloom, kind of cute. Not, I mean, Brill, they're not like a 10 out of 10 cute. They're not like a top 10 cutest, but they're kind of cute. But Shroomish, uh-uh. Shroomish is like top 10 ugliest Pokemon. Uh, Acid Armor right here. Gonna raise defense stat. That could be good, but also my moveset is so powerful. I don't know if I want to get rid of anything right here. What do you guys think? Should I get rid of Dragon Rush to get this crud? I don't know if getting rid of Dragon Rush is a bad idea or not. I don't have a lot of peepees on my moves. Shroomish is ugly. Thank you. Finally, someone agrees with me. Um, I think I'm going to pass on Acid Armor, guys. It could come in handy, but I don't know. I, I tend to prefer attack moves. Ganondoof, level 9. Really? Dude, Ganondoof wants to learn Fusion Flare. Flare Blitz and Fusion Flare. What the crud? This move's power is increased when influenced by an enormous lightning bolt. I don't even know what that means. Dude. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of Natural Gift because I don't have that many berries. So we're going to get Natural Gift out of here. You know, I've got Conversion on Bidoof. Does that mean I could maybe convert to fire type and then go for some fusion uh, fusion flare? Got some. Th right after I get rid of natural gift, we get orange berries. Thanks a lot, kid. All right, are we done here? I think we are. Wait, I gotta talk to the professor, don't I? Ganondorf evolves to Zekrom. Yes, please. Okay, okay. So we talked to that guy. Now I think we can leave. Disco Bay used to have Fusion Flare as well. Dude, Disco Bay was awesome. Guys, have I... Have I ever had... No, I was going to say, have I ever had, like... 
a Pokemon that I caught on the first route make it to the end of the run? I don't know if that's ever happened. I I'm pretty sure I've had a starter make it, but I don't think I've ever had a first catch make it. There we go. Get me healed up. We're still going? Okay, what did I miss now? Maybe with, with the classroom kid defeated, I can now go up the stairs? Let me buy <laughs> you crud. Guys, I don't know what I'm missing. I don't know what I'm missing. Talk to kid in courtyard. Okay. Got it, got it. Let's go. I talked to this guy. Was there a different one? I'll talk to him again. Maybe he's changed his mind now. There we go. Okay, so after we defeat all the other guys, now we gotta go beat up this dude. He's gonna show us Ekans' ability. Let's see what ability that is right here. We've got ourselves Dr. Stacy, one Pokemon, and it's going to be a sock. All right, dude. Shroomish is cute, and I will back out on this. No, dude. Shroomish is not cute. But against this guy, we are gonna go for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, We'll do Dragon Rush, why not? Don't miss. There we go. Get him with that 100 power. Chance to flinch as well. More than half. Yes, we got the flinch. And now we should be able to go for Moon Guy's Beam. Finish this dude off. Unless he has higher special defense. I'm not sure about that. Blast him. There we go, guys. So all I'm really trying to do right now is get Ganondorf to level 20. That is the main thing I care about. Okay, now that we've defeated that kid, now we should finally be done, right? We'll get a TM. What do we got? TM01 Covet. I don't know what that does, but I don't think it's very good. Hi from a very hot UK. Hope everyone is well. Guys, can I? Can you guys post some 15s in chat? Post 15 in chat if you are currently hit by a heat wave. Because I feel like everyone's getting hit by a heat wave lately. I mean, it is summer in half the world, so it makes sense. Uh, what terrible thing did you get called to the office so soon? Well, so you did do something? I mean, maybe. Can I please leave? Do I have to go to the... Um, dude, it's crazy how I have the ability to like read some dialogue and then immediately forget what they just said. I don't know what she just said, even though I just read it. Negative 15. Does anyone actually like heat waves? I'm gonna go ahead and beat up this guy. Zero no Norway, it's not hot here. It's not too hot today. It's like a nice, it's like a nice 72 Fahrenheit in the uh, office here. Let me set change it to Celsius. It's 22 Celsius in the office right now. Nice and cozy, nice and cozy. Engineer Mark, all right, one Pokemon on Engineer Mark. What do we got? Love disc. Dude, I am just getting some easy battles right now. Chicken is just gonna... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say chicken's gonna destroy everything, but it's actually Shronky. Okay, let's go for some Moongeist Beam. You know, not the strongest attack in the world, but it'll have to do. You know, we got kind of this weak moveset. Sometimes you just gotta struggle with what you got. What the crud? Love disc survived? That didn't even do half with the crud. Okay, we'll go for extreme speed here then. There we go. Ow. Four damage. How dare you. Okay, we'll do extreme speed one more time. Guys, check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Yo, Therenius with the Prime Sub. Thank you so much, dude. Ganondoof, level 10. Just 10 levels to go, and we'll see what Ganondoof actually is. I just want to find out, is Ganondoof secretly a Zekrom? Because that's what it seems like right now. Yo, Mepsi, thank you so much for the 63 month resub. Who the crud is this? L Lima? Alright, Lima. Captain Lima here. You know what, dude? I'm not even going to read Lima's. I'm not going to read your text, buddy. Just because he's got the Argyle vest doesn't mean I'm going to read his text. How many subs for me to release Ganondoof? Well, first off, it looks like we've got a little bit of lag right here. I've been having some lag on these streams. It do be happening. How many subs to release Ganondoof? Guys, do you think there's any amount of subs that is worth releasing Ganondoof over? 
<laughs> llama? Oh, llama. I thought it was Lima. 50? Nah, dude, I'm not releasing him for 50. No way. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards no. I mean, I could be a jerk and say the only way I would do it is the highest amount possible, which is 100 tier 3 subs, because no one would be crazy enough to do that. But I'm just going to say no. <laughs> like, I don't I don't want to release Ganondoof. He's staying on the team, not even for 100 tier 3 subs. 15,000? That's a little excessive. The Psycho Debt arc? No, dude, I'm doing fine. I don't, I don't need any subs. Okay, I'm going to pet his face. Take that, Red Bull. Do they say Red Bull gives you wings? Because if Red Bull tackles me, I'm going to go flying. <laughs> what about a million dollars? Sure, dude. For a million dollars, I'll release my Bidoof in a Pokemon game. <laughs> that seems worth it. Can you continue your 100-day Breath of the Wild challenge? Nah, dude. That series is donezo. I got a I got a normie job now, dude. I gotta spend time doing that. No, because Red Bull died. Oh no. Guys, we got the Howley City Beachfront. If there's any way to capture a Pokemon here, this does count as a new area. I think if we had a fishing rod, we could, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get something like that. Yo, maybe we could just steal that slowpoke. Oh, okay, she's gonna go swimming. All right, just chilling on the beach right here. The clothing shop, yo. Do I enjoy my job, dude? I am loving my my new job. It's awesome. I'm gonna say something really weird, and this might only be because I'm new and I'm entry level and stuff. But I gotta say, this job, the new job I'm doing, is so easy and so chill compared to doing YouTube. I feel like a lot of people on the outside looking in for YouTube think it's just like a, the easiest job in the world because you kind of just like play games and like make random videos and stuff. But man, dude, this is my first like real job and it is like so chill compared to doing YouTube. Is Psycho's boss here? They might be. The wing will fly and their droppings fall. Ew, dude. <laughs> He's literally talking about Pokemon poopy. Okay, we're gonna go find a clothing shop. We'll examine the beach a little bit later. But if I can change my outfit, we need to do that, Crud. Um, I think we're about to get interrupted by a cutscene up here. Well, let's just do it. Oh, the shopping district. So that's another new area. What's the job? So I'm a I'm a entry level software engineer, basically. I'm gonna go down this way. Can I steal this? Dude, I just want this in my team. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna move on. I was thinking maybe we would uh, try to find some items or something. There might be something hidden in the sand, but I'm not feeling like uh, finding it here. Do you play this on a Switch or emulator? Can you play Pokemon Sun and Moon on the Switch? I never even thought about that, but I am playing on an emulator here. I actually do have the ability to record 3DS, but I don't know how to put a randomized game on a 3DS, so I never thought about that. Ooh, what language? So I, I do, it's, it's web dev stuff, so right now it's really just like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So it's pretty basic right now. You can't play Sun and Moon on the Switch? That's what I thought, yeah. How's Nara doing? She's doing awesome. Psycho, my man, I've been waiting all year for this Nuzlocke. Heck yeah, dude. Well, here we are. I gotta say, I feel like I've been getting lost and distracted in this game more than I have in, like, previous years. And that's saying a lot, because I'm pretty good at getting distracted. Okay, so we're gonna go and try to find a clothing shop here. I don't actually know if that's a thing. Pukumuku is the slowest Pokemon tied with Munchlax and Shuckle. Fantastic, dude. How about you do some programming tutorials on YouTube? No way, man. There's there's literally like dozens, if not hundreds of channels that already do that. And there's some great stuff. Like if you guys want to learn programming, just go look up free credit on YouTube. That's pretty much what I did. And uh, yeah, you're gonna be well on your way. There's like everything you could possibly want to know already exists. It's crazy. 
Psycho's on a hot date? Was I? I think Sun and Moon just has a really slow start. That's okay. Okay, gotta go check it out. Is this where we take pictures? Yo, guys. We got some Pokemon Snap up in here. Unfortunately, it looks like this was not randomized. So we still got the Pikachu here. Gotcha! How do I enhance? Um, what is this? Oh, gyro aiming. Let's turn gyro aiming off. The frame rate looks a little bit low in here, but that's okay. How do I enhance, dude? No! No, enhance! Please zoom in, dude! I guess we can't zoom in, guys. Unless I have to, like, use my touchscreen. Crud! Okay! Too much water. <laughs> Look at that little crutter. You need more likes to enhance? Aw, oh, jeez. I'm gonna go with this picture. You know, rule of thirds, that's a good looking one right there. Your photo's been uploaded. Uh-oh. The comments are already pouring in. Nice sunshine. Dude, it's literally nighttime. I'm getting sleepy. Thanks a lot, man. And we got haters already. Current thumbs up. Okay, how, how popular are we? What's our record? 157, dude. I bet you that's more likes than I would get, dude. If I posted this picture online, I would probably get less than that. Mouse on screen? Gosh dang it. <laughs> I got it. Do you want to save this photo to the SD card? No, thank you. Um, Close the Poke Finder. We're good. Part 2. When was the first? Last Sunday. We did it. Last Sunday. I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet because I'm lazy, but we'll get there eventually. Alright, so we're done with that. Oh my gosh, Rotom, just show me the map. Okay, we're gonna go down this way. Yo, is this is it. This is the clothing shop, guys. We are about to get all kinds of drippy. I forget, I forget. What, what's the hip lingo, guys? Is drip still in or is that kind of a... Is that like a boomer thing now? Do the kids still say that? We're getting mad soggy. Let's go. Uh, wow, I got the makeup bag. That's what I always wanted. I'd say drip is still valid. Okay, okay, we're in there. We're about to turn into some soggy toast. Let's go. So let's go into the mirror. I think we have to go to the... Or maybe we just go to checkout? Please tell me I'm rich. How much money do we have? Okay, we got plenty. Guys, let's get us an outfit. We got these different Alola shirts. Do we have orange? Yo, this music kind of good. Do you guys hear this? This is pretty good. We got the V-neck. There is no orange. We got the tank top. Okay. Uh, Purple? <laughs> guys, are my eyes weird? To me, this does not look purple. Maybe it's my monitor. I don't know, but this looks really blue to me. Well, I guess that's also blue. Yeah, that's... But this is... To me, this is like a light blue. This is a dark blue. And this is a normal blue. Indigo? Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like a GameCube. It's like a GameCube indigo color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gray. We got the surfing tank. Alola sea tank. Collegiate tank. Let's see what else we got, guys. I'm kind of leaning towards the green tank because it matches the hat. But if we got other stuff to match, we might have to rock that. So we got shorts here. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want to go all green. <laughs> Dude. It says gray for one second. My brain saw that word gray and I saw gravy. I just saw gravy, dude. What am I already wearing? Okay. Uh, we got pleated shorts. What else we got? Casual shorts. We got pleated shorts and casual shorts. Okay, here's the strat, guys. I'll, I'll show you what I'm thinking. We got the over-the-knee socks. Those are really tall. Holy crud. Um, we got crew socks. Okay. Guys, I know exactly what I'm thinking. Watch this. We're going to go white and green. The outfit's going to go white and green. We'll buy that crud. I'll just, I'm just hoping we got a hat that's actually going to match this, but I'm going to try white and green here. Dude, <laughs> I think we saved no socks, dude. Like, socks and sandals? Are we really going to do socks and sandals? I don't know about this crud. I love to wear gravy. Yo, gravy is great. 
Do you guys really want me to go socks and sandals? I can't buy new shoes. Wait, what kind of hat we got? Okay, I think we're keeping our current hat because it's already green. Okay, guys, we're doing socks and sandals. Look at us go. We are so stylish. We are soggy. We're dripping. Let's go. Did I not buy it? Oh my gosh, I just did the thing. Why do I do that? Every time I play Pokemon, I always do that, crud. I close it out before it's actually time. Wait, I, I bought it. Do I have to go to the mirror to put it on? How do I... How do I equip... Oh, here we go. Changing room. Okay. Change... Wait, I could change my contacts? Alright, put the green, the white, the white, and the rest is all green. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, we good. Man, this card really do be lagging. There we go. We are dripped out. Look at us go. Wait, do you guys think I should go with the green socks instead of the white socks? Okay, let's go for contacts real quick. Can we do like some red eyes? I can do yellow eyes. That's kind of cool. Yellow and yellow and green go together, right? Let's check out yellow eyes. That's creepy as heck. What the crud, dude? Yo, I look crazy. Gray for gravy. Uh, let's go to lip color. We could do some makeup. I could do no lipstick. Yo, we could do orange. We could do orange. Yes. I could look like a carrot. Wow, look at us go. I don't know if I'm digging that. As much as I love orange, I don't I don't know if that's it, dude. Uh, let's try blue. This is so cursed. That, I, I don't know, man. It just looks like I was eating a popsicle and I got it on my face. Let's just go, let's just go with nothing. Skipping the lipstick. There we go. That's way better. Okay. Okay, let's go back to contacts. We could do green. There we go, guys. We got the full look. We got green. We got green eyes on deck. Let's go. Okay. Hashtag all natural. Okay, guys. We're dripped out. Let's get out of here. Green socks. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll check out the green socks. We'll do that real quick, and then we'll get out of here and go beat up some Pokemon. What do we have? Uh, green. Is there green? There it is. I don't know, guys. I feel like that's too much green. We could check the gravy. We got the gravy. I don't know, man. I think the white looks better. I feel like the white looks better. Okay. Don't forget to catch stuff here. You're right. Let's go see if we can catch something. Okay. Outfit is on deck. Let's go. Where are we going? So how do we actually catch something here? I see a sparkle right there. Yes! Right here. Right here. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me make sure I've got chicken up front because they have the ability to knock po Pokemon out. Or not knock them out. I mean, we could do half of their HP with uh, Nature's Gift or whatever it's called. Let's get inside. A brand new area, guys. Let's go get ourselves another Pokemon. This team is getting built out. What do we got? Okay. We got ourselves a Togepi. Dude, my team is so powerful. Dunsparce, Badoof, Togepi coming in. Let's go. Barfing all over me. Wow, good job. Did that just miss? What happened? There we go. Wait, you got a Dunsparce? Dude, Dunsparce was my starting Pokemon. We are doing good. They did the Phantom Force. Can I just catch them while they're doing that? Let's find out, guys. Let's go hold down... Nope. Let's go hold down B and see if we can catch this dude even while they're doing Phantom Force. Never mind, we can't. <laughs> Never mind, we can't. Okay, let's go ahead and do some Nature's Madness. Yeah, he can't actually hit me with that because it's a Ghost-type attack and I'm a, a Dunsparce. Yo, the Schwa Master with the community sub. Thank you so much, Schwa. Yo, Marceloslo, thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. Okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go do Nature's Madness. They're going to do Phantom Force. It does nothing. This is not Star Wars Episode One. 
Let's go ahead and do some Pokeball. Holding down B. Let's catch us a baby. Come on, dude. What, dude? Okay. Roar of time. We got Roar of Time Togepi right here. Six damage. Guys, is Togepi actually Lily Pants' baby? Is this Lily Shorts right here? Let's toss him in there. Come on. Do not break out. Come on, dude. There we go. There we go, guys. Togepi on the team. We got Lily Shorts right here. Does anyone remember how we actually spelled the Lily Pants? Like the Lily part? Because if I'm doing Lily Shorts, <laughs> then we gotta we gotta do it right. Was it L-I-L-Y? Or was it two L's? I can't remember how we did it, dude. Uh, <laughs> dude, I am not doing that, Carno. No way. The Algapi. That's a pretty good name. Little Lily Pants. Okay, we're, we're just going to do Lily Shorts. I can't remember how we spelled it, but we're going to spell it this time this way. Little Shorts. Just got here. Did I miss another wi uh, wipe or some crud art? Yo, we have not done crud art yet. We'll probably do that in a bit. I don't actually know if there is any crud art, but guys, if you want to do art for the series, discord.gg slash psycho, there is a crud art channel in there where you guys are welcome to post anything you'd like to. Well... Okay, don't post anything, but you can post, uh, you know, art of the Pokemon. You can post you pushing some B buttons. You know, get creative with it. Yo, what's up, Hyper? Sure, you can see the team. Let me go ahead and get through this text here with Lima. That's a sticker. Okay, so let's get through this text and we'll go take a look. So our team is basically Dunsparce, Bidoof, Togepi, and uh, Seismitoad. But their actual names... Our chicken, Shronky, Lily, Short, uh, Lily Shorts, and Ganondoof. You know, we need to take a look at our moveset and our ability here. Suction Cups. What the crud is Suction Cups? This Pokemon uses Suction Cups to stay in one spot to negate all moves and items that force switching out. Um, okay. Roar of Time. Phantom Force. Tailwind and Smokescreen. Well, that is a moveset. Okay. I will cry if Lily dies. We're not going to let them die. We'll just grab this sticker here. We got a totem sticker. Yeah. Let's go inside the Pokemon Center, get healed up, and keep on going. Now, guys, I think that originally, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in the original games that Togepi evolves by friendship, right? But I'm pretty sure I turned on an option in the randomizer that makes it so friendship, ran uh, friendship evolutions are now just level evolutions. But I don't know exactly what level they would evolve at now. So we'll just have to find out, but I'm pretty sure they're going to evolve by leveling for the randomizer. So we have to go down this way. Will you be using the experience shirt? Oh, heck yes, dude. I've already got that crud, and I am using it. I'm not the kind of dude to make my crud any harder than it needs to be. You guys have seen how terrible my luck can be sometimes with Nuzlocks. Things just get depleted. They get deleted. Defeated. So... I'm going to give myself every chance I can to survive. We're, we're keeping that experience share. Got to deal with some team numbskulls here. Wait. So if the other team, if the team Aeon or whatever the crud was pizza time, what are these guys? They're, they can't be Doritos. They can't be stinky cheeses and they can't be pizza time. What can they be? Stinky skulls. Oh gosh, they're going to check us. Um... I guess we'll go ahead and... No, we'll send out Chicken. Chicken's pretty powerful. Yo, Mo, welcome to the stream, dude. Bald Psycho? I'm hopefully not bald. But guys, just ignore the lag. We're getting into this battle here against Man Jessica. Let's go, Man Jessica. We got one Pokemon right here. A Poliwag. Dude, I love me some Poliwag. But we're going to defeat this guy. Okay, we're going in, and we're going to go directly for that Spike Cannon. Remember, guys, we have Adaptability as our ability. We've also got the Quick Claw right there, but Adaptability makes it so our same type attack bonus attacks are 2 times power instead of 1.5 times. So, basically, Spike Cannon on Dunsparce is pretty good. There we go. 
Okay, me and Jessica going down super easily there. Okay, there's actually a skull emote. We'll take it. We'll take it. Guys, can you do me a favor? Can you post an apostrophe in the chat? And also post a greater than and a less than symbol? Guys, do you see this on the screen? Look at this, guys. Wait. What? They were fine. They're fine sometimes, but sometimes they're not fine. I'm so confused. Guys, look at the chat on the, on the actual stream. Sometimes the, those symbols are fine and sometimes they're not. I am so confused. Um, okay, actually, I am ready for your trial. I'm ready for the trial, bud. Okay. Do we have to go beat this dude up? Here we go. The final battle against Clerk Mia. Two Pokemon right here, and he is holding some Ultra Balls. Let's go. Gonna start off with a Deancey. Hello! Is that Mega? Dude. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if there's a Mega Deancey, but that is Deancey. I know that much. Okay. We're gonna go... Uh... It is Mega. Oh, crud. Guys, what type is Deancey? They're Fairy Rock? Can I go for Bone Meringue? Will that be super effective? Fairy Rocks. I think Bone Meringue would do super effective, right? Okay. Here we go. Four time week to steal. I don't think I have any steal. What is that, crud? Ow, 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 okay, okay. They got recoil damage. Please do big damage, please. Yes, no, it's not gonna kill. Okay, we almost got them. Um, It's weak to dying, that is true. Okay, guys, do we go to Shronky? I think we should go to Shronky right now. Sacrifice something. Do you guys think that Shronky will survive Brave Bird and then Deancey will die to recoil? We have to protect Dunsparce, exactly. I'm thinking Shronky, guys. Let's go, Shronky. You got this, buddy. Go ahead, do your Brave Bird. They use a potion. Oh my gosh, that healed so much. That healed a lot, dude. Okay, should I go for Moongeist Beam? Because Dragon Rush will get resisted by the fairy, right? Extreme Speed gets resisted by the rock. Yeah, I think we're going for Moon Geist Beam, guys. Let's do it. Look at this, dude. Look at this move. Seismitoad, get him. Come on, Shronky. Oh, that did not do a lot. Brave Bird going in. That might do some good recoil. Please do less than half. Please do less than half. Yes, it did less than half. Okay, okay. We're safe. We can go for another one. Moon Geist Beam should defeat them right here. There we go. Oh, Fairy is immune to Dragon. Right, okay. Woo! Okay, Deancey, Mega Deancey going down. We're alive. But we still have one more Pokemon to go. Shronky is getting juiced up. Let's go, bud. That was some experience. Chicken, level 13 chicken right here. Tail Glow? Chicken wants to learn Tail Glow. Holy crud. I don't really have any special attacks, but if I did, if I did have a special attack, that would be crazy. Um, guys, is it time to get rid of Nature's Madness? Na Nature's Madness is really good for catching Pokemon, but we could still catch stuff without it, and it's not really that useful in battles. Okay, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of, dude, I don't know, man keep it what else would i get rid of do you guys think i should get rid of bone ring or crunch i'm definitely not getting rid of spike cannon no way yeah nature's madness is super fang okay guys it hurts to do it but we're gonna go get rid of crunch the reason we're keeping spike cannon is because of same type attack bonus so it's actually really good okay Getting some level ups right now. Lily shorts. There we go. Lily shorts. Holy crud. Skill swap. What is that one? Let's see. The user employs its psychic power to exchange abilities with the target. I have suction cups, which I would not mind giving to my opponent, but also, like, 
Do I really want that crud? Probably not. Could be clutch. That's true, guys. If we run into, like, Wonder Guard, we could just, like, win the game. So, I could get rid of Smoke Screen. Like, when am I ever going to use Smoke Screen? You know what, guys? We're going to do it. I've got a feeling this is going to save the day at some point. At some point, this is going to save our entire run. Okay. Stunky. I think we can deal with Stunky. You know what, guys? It is time for the debut of Ganondoof. Let's go. Yo, if we evolve and get true on, that could be good. All right, guys. There is no... I sent out the wrong Pokemon! How the crud I sent out Lily Shorts? I meant to send out Ganondoof, but, uh... Well, I guess this is the debut of Lily Shorts. All right, let's go for some Fusion Flare. Is this a two versus two battle? What is going on right now? Oh, this is Illusion. Dude, the Illusion is so powerful that it tricked me. What the crud? Okay, okay, we're gonna go for Fusion Flare. This is actually Ganondoof. It just tricked me. Rock Wrecker. Yo! Yo! Dude, I don't like this. I don't like this. Ganondoof. Ganondoof needs to swap. Okay, that did. Ganondoof needs to get out of here, dude. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Um... Wait, my opponent is stuck for a turn. That means I get to swap for free, right? Guys, do I go back to Shronky? What, what was the move he did against me? Rock Wrecker? Would, would Rock Wrecker be super effective on any of my dudes? In before pursuit? I get a free turn. So if I got a free turn, I can go to Shronky here. Yeah, let's just go Shronky, guys. I have a potion. I can heal up if I need to. Shrunk resisted. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go for... Is Moonguy's Beam good against Dark-type? I can't remember. Or Bug Buzz. I think Bug is good against Dark, right? Dude, I, I don't know my type matchups. You think you would think after 23 years or whatever of playing Pokemon, I would know this crud. But we're gonna go for, uh... We're gonna go for Bug Buzz here. Big damage, let's go. He's alive. Rock Wrecker going in, but people are saying I should resist this crud. You look, dude, that was nothing. That was nothing. Bug Buzz going in. We win. All right. Finally, the battle is over. Zero deaths. Not scared at all, guys. Mega Deancey, no problem. All right. Clerkamia going down. We're going to go ahead and heal up. And after that, we're going to, uh, I guess, just keep on trying not to die. So we're saying we got to go to Route 2. I would love to go there. That's going to be an area where we can catch more Pokemon. And you know, guys, our team is full of rock stars right now. We've got only the strongest Pokemon. I've got a feeling that's about to continue. We're going to get something really good up here. That was just a little scary. Dude, I don't mind that badly if most of my dudes die. But we have to protect Dunsparce at all costs. We cannot let Dunsparce die. I saw Ganondorf's lives flashing before my eyes. Dude, or Ganon, dude. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. It's sad that half of them will evolve. I'm kind of glad, dude. Ganon, Doof is gonna. I, I bet you guys, Ganon, Doof is gonna evolve into something real nice. But we're gonna leave Chicken up front and let's go and catch ourselves something amazing. Lily? Wait. Has Lily Pants and Lily, Lily Shorts belonged to Lily this entire time? Take that, Lily. I got your shorts, bud. Ew. Okay, thanks a lot. The classic, giving me revives in a Nuzlocke, which we can't use. I guess I could sell them and buy Pokeballs or something like that. What is going on here? Red Bull again. Don't kill Lily's Pokemon. Is it just me or is that texture up there really messed up? Okay, we're gonna grab it by the horns. Moo, ooh, ooh. I... Okay. Guys, why does Tauros have three tails? Alright, that guy's gonna go chase a bull. We're gonna go and... Ignore the messed up texture. 
And we're gonna go to route number two and catch ourselves something really nice. Let's go, my dudes. Okay, we're getting shadow sneaked by this dude. What do we have? What snuck up on us? Yo! Dude, Mega Pincer. Dude, we got Sir Pickle's dad. Let's go. I feel like we've had a... Didn't we have a Mega Pincer last year? I feel like we had a Mega, a Mega Pincer last year, but I can't remember. King Pickle? Holy crud. Okay, okay. We're gonna go Nature's Madness. We're not gonna die here. We're not gonna die. There we go. Half that HP. Get him out of here. Razor Wind. Whipping up a Whirlwind. Do you guys think I can tank the Razor Wind, or should I go and try to catch him right now? How does a wild Pokemon become a Mega Form? That is the power of randomizers, dude. If you catch this name at Phil, dude, I gotta name him after a pickle. <laughs> Senior Pickle. You can tank 100%. Okay, okay, let's go for a second Nature's Madness then. Lorf Pickle, yo. Okay, let's go get out the B button, guys. Dude, I do not want to see what other moves this guy has. Please hold down this B. You know what, guys? Let's also wiggle the left foot. I want to catch this guy first try. Wiggling my left foot right now. Holding down B. Let's get him. Come on, dude. Get captured, you crawl it. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mega Pincer. Let's go. Guys, what do we name them? They gotta be a pickle. We we all know they're a pickle, but what kind of pickle are they? Yo, Trevor with the 10 gifted subs. What is up, Trevor? I hope you've been well, man. Thank you so much, dude. Holy crud. Yo, look at this Pokedex entry. Number 211. Registered. Yeah! I have 1% of the cruds. Okay, I don't care about all this. I just want to name my dude. Okay, we're going to give Pincer a name. Guys, what about this? We had Sir Pickle, right? What about... What about Madam Pickle? How do I... Upper... Okay, there we go. Uppercase. Lorf Pickle. <laughs> Dude, we could do Madam Pickle. There we go. What do you guys think? Do you want Madam Pickle or should we do... I don't know. What else could we do? We could do, uh... We could do Madman Pickle. That's close enough. Duke Pickle. <laughs> Pickle Lady. Um... Sir Pickle the second? Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, how about... How about this, guys? Oh gosh, how do I do a thing? What about Piccolo? We could do Piccolo. You guys don't want Piccolo? Come on, dude. I love Piccolo. Okay, guys. We got Piccolo right here. Is he a Dragon Ball Z character? Is he a musical instrument? Nobody knows. Is he a... <laughs> is he a really odd type of cereal? It's a mystery, guys. Eat yourself a nice, healthy bowl of Piccolos. Alright, guys. We're gonna go heal up again. Actually, let's go check that moveset. Let's go check that ability. Pickle-flavored cereal. <laughs> yeah, you don't use milk, guys. You use pickle juice in that cereal. Briallamin with the 46 month song. Thank you so much, man. Guys, we have lock on. All we need now is to get us a one-hit KO move, and Piccolo is about to be destroying everybody. 
All right, the first part of the puzzle is down. We got Razor Wind, Acid, and Thundershock. Gonna keep it real. Not a great move set, but Lock On does give me some hope for the future. All right, and our ability was Overcoat. What does that do? Protects the Pokemon from things like Sand, Hail, and Powder. Powder? Okay. Well, that might come in handy. It wouldn't be a Nuzlocke without Lock On strats? Exactly. Okay, let's get healed up. We'll keep on going. Oh, can't be sleep powdered. Okay. Dragon Ball is overrated. Dang. Okay, guys. We got healed up. We got some good team members. Let's go and destroy this entire route over here. Going on in. So right there, we've got a trainer. This guy, I don't think, is actually a trainer. I don't want to get snuck up on by another pickle. Let's go and fight this lady. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Okay, trial goer. What do we got? Immune to pickle juice. Yes. Yo, right here we got Lazy Noel. Guys, do you think we should do some crud art after this battle? I kind of haven't done any yet today, and it's been an hour, so maybe we should do that. Okay, we got Bulldore right here. Chicken going in. Um, What can we do against Bulldore? Honestly, I'm thinking Bone Meringue. Let's go do that crud. Um, what was that? I don't know what he just did, but it looks scary. Ooh, we're just gonna knock him out. We're just gonna knock him out. <laughs> Who remembers when it was hashtag F art? F for fan? It's just the fan art, guys. Okay, okay. Guys, we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center and we're going to do some crud art. I kind of forgot to do that earlier. It's a little bit strange because normally I do it when we get to a new town. And we're sort of still in the town we started in. Yeah, the, the progress has been a little bit slow, but that's okay. Let's go back inside here, guys. And let's go do some crud art. Psychord. Psychord. <laughs> Discord.gg slash psycho. We got a crud art channel, guys. If you want to post some art in there, that would be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get some crud opened up. And we'll take a look. So let me just go and open this real quick. Let me find where we ended last episode. Right about there, I think. And I'm going to start opening some stuff. And once we got it going, <laughs> once we got it going, we'll take a look. So I'm going to go open a whole bunch first. And you guys will see it in just a minute. After I get it open, I'll, um, I'll switch the screen over so you guys can see it. So let me just get all these open. I'm seeing some good B presses right now. I don't even know what that is. But that looks amazing. Okay, let me get these all open. Yo, a lot of these cards came in before we even started the stream here. Yo, we got memes. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Opening all these up. We got a lot, guys. Holy crap, we got a lot. But we're going to do all of it. I'm doing all this crowd all in one go. We already got pickles. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. We got it all. Okay, so let's go take a look at this crud art. We're going to swap over to the screen like that. There it is, guys. Pressing the B on Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. This is a game that I've always wanted to play, but I never actually have. I feel like I would love this game, though. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did someone redeem... Someone, Trevor, redeeming dramatically read the Walrus copy pasta. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, guys, put a pause. Put a pause on the crud art. We got to go read the the Walrus copy pasta. I guess we'll read it while uh, listening to some Pokemon theme or some Pokemon Center music here. <coughs> guys, do I really have to do this? Trevor, Trevor, can you say psych? I'm going to give you guys a second. I need you all to go and find the Walrus Copy Pasta online. Copy that crud. And I need you to light this chat up with some Walrus Copy Pasta while I read it. It's not going to take long, guys. So we need to we need to make it count. Okay. Oh, let's do this. Hello. I am currently 16 years old and I want to become a walrus. I know there's a million people out there just like me, but I promise you, I'm different. On December 14th, I'm moving to Antarctica, home of the greatest walrus. 
I've already cut off my arms and now slide on my stomach everywhere I go is training. <gasps> I may not be a walrus yet, but I promise you, if you give me a chance and the support I need, I will become the greatest walrus ever. Thank you all. There you go, Trevor. You wasted some points. We did it. We're going to go back to some crud art here. Look at this, guys. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, there is no squats. Normally, we go to the gym, we do some squats, but this game does not have a gym. I can't believe it. Our gym membership is wasted. Look at this, guys. Four different Joy-Cons. This is not just four Joy-Cons. This is four right Joy-Cons, which means they probably have eight actual Joy-Cons pressing the B on all of these. Holy crud. Look at that, guys. Pressing the B on, I guess it's like a, a nickname for Litten that they have on their DS. That is some custom crud. That's awesome. Look at this, guys. Shronky the Seismitoad, a beautiful, majestic creature. We've also got Chicken. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Got the creepy eye open, staring at you. Look at this little smile. Look at guys. The light of the moon shines upon all evil. It's Shronky. Pressing the B on the Magic School Bus DVDs. Holy crud. Did anyone actually watch the Magic School Bus? Because I definitely did as a kid. No. You can't just sneak that in there. Come on, dude. Really? You can't put Shroomish Pogging on the Magic School Bus? Oh my gosh. What the crud am I looking at, dude? Okay, we're gonna pretend this image does not exist, and we're gonna move on here. Don't quit your day job. Yep, the Oxus did not last very long. Grumpy number 39, we thought we were gonna have the run. Guys, isn't this quite the weird world we live in, where I get a Deoxys that dies in five minutes, but then, but then I get a Dunsparce and we're doing just fine. Here's the thing, guys. A couple of my coworkers, including my boss, watched the stream last week, and during our meeting, <laughs> during our meeting, we had to do a bit of a performance review, but it wasn't for work. It was a performance review for the Nuzlocke. They were very disappointed that I died in five minutes. Okay, moving on. That is a lot of magic school bites. I didn't even know there were that many DVDs, but holy crud, an entire B. That's crazy. Yo, outside? Guys, imagine being so dedicated to pressing the B button that you actually go outside. Holy crud, dude. I went outside once. What the? Okay. I really, I really hope this vehicle is not currently in motion, or if it is, this is the passenger seat. Please do not. Guys, don't do anything dangerous just to press the B buttons. If you're driving a car, guys, it's not the time. There's no hands on the wheel. There's one hand pressing the B, one hand taking the picture. This is a, dude, there's no hands on the steering wheel right now. That's freaking me out. This meme has totally been done before. <laughs> this is so accurate. This is exactly what happened. Deoxys, get him out of here. Dunsparce is like, I got this, bud. The two best friends right now. We got Chicken. We got Shronky. And now, guys, the team is expanding. We got Ganondoof. We got Lily Shorts. We got whoever we just got. Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Piccolo. Chicken use spike cannon. Dude, are the spikes actually chicken tendies? Is that what this is? Pressing the B? Don't panic, we have Bannock. Dude, for a second there I thought that said Kukui, Professor Kukui, but... Dude, you can't just... You can't just put shroomish pogging. You can't just put shroomish pogging on random things, dude. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright. Oh, we got chicken... So stinking cute, guys. The window is a Pokeball. 
The Oxus is dead back there, but they're taxidermized, so it's okay. That is adorable. That is super cute. I love it. I don't see a, a tag on this one, but whoever does this one, beautiful. And also, there's no shroomish pogging, so that's a plus. <laughs> Why? Well, hey, there's us. But except the outfit's different now, guys. The outfit now is a bit more green, but this is pretty close. Guys, Billy Dunspar's Hatcher. There we go, Billy. Yes, dude. I guess we got some Billy Hatcher fans in the chat. That's awesome, dude. I've always wanted to play that game. Never got around to it. One of these days. One of these days I will. I'm uglier than this guy, right? Yes. Actually, yes, guys. So, back in 2013, almost a decade ago... My first popular video was Top 10 Ugliest Pokemon. Shroomish was on that list, but so was Seismitoad. So we got two ugly dudes right here. Um, and Seismitoad was higher on the list than Shroomish. Shroomish was number 10. I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you just hurt Shronky's feelings. I don't think Shronky's the kind of guy to take that as an insult. Me, <laughs> the V button. Yes, dude. Heck yeah. Get the Oxus as a starter. Has to fight How, who had Golem. Dies to Bite and Shadow Sneak. Yeah. Guys, did any of you... Did any of you go and see the new Minions movie? And did any of you go and see the new Minions movie while wearing a suit? I have to know. I'll be honest. I don't own a suit. But if I did own a suit, and I went to go see the new Minions movie, I would have worn it. He saw it, but no suit? Oh, no. When someone makes a 69 joke, Psycho, the chat, me feeling like I'm the only mature one here despite being 14, what's with you guys? Guys, what have, guys, keep it, let's, let's be honest. When have I ever laughed at a joke like that? Just replace, replace this with 15 and I'm in there, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got 12 eggs? That's crazy. Nice percent on the battery right there, too. But that's a lot of Dunsparce. Um, see, guys, watch. Watch this. Guys, I'm not making any jokes. You see that? No jokes. Did someone just sub? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You did, dude. Holy crud. 1972 Buick GS. Thank you so much for the three-month sub. Thank you, dude. Uh-oh. Which card art was I on? Uh, I was on this one. All right. Next up. We got Badoof number two. We got, we got two. We got two. Yo, Leo Sand. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Wait, why is, why is got two? Why is he dead? Why has he got the halo? Dude, he's, al he's still alive. All right, next up, we got... There it is, dude. We got Ganondoof. Holy crud, man. Look at how buff he is. Holy. Oh, my gosh, guys. Ganondoof. Beautiful. Dude, exactly. Breloom, actually kind of cute. Let's keep it real, though, guys. Let's be completely honest. What the crud are these? I don't know what these are. But aside from that, like if we just if we just look like this, they're pretty cute, dude. Wait. What is this? Is that an eye? Dude, maybe Breloom's a little creepy. Alright, we got yo! Is that is that four Xbox controllers and a PlayStation Vita? Are you jumping and pressing the circle button? That might be a PSP, actually. I think it's a PSP. But still, jumping and pressing the circle button and pressing four B buttons. That's awesome. Super secret message for Psycho to decipher is... Shroomish is a... Cutie... Dude, I'm not going to say that, dude. I am not going to say that. Is there a way I can draw on my screen? Uh... 
You know what, guys? We're gonna have to do this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to do this. Hold up. Just give me a minute. This is important, guys. Just, just give me a minute. Hold on, guys. Just, just hold on. I'm going as fast as I can. Okay, we're gonna go to here. And I'm gonna go do this. Control W if you want to draw in green. Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That didn't. You, you made me close it. You crawled it. It's okay. I have backup. How do I show you guys this? Okay, here we go. We got the MS Paint. Let's go. Okay. Where's my cursor? There it is. Let's go with the with this. Size big. There we go, guys. There it is, man. That was worth it. Fixed it. We fixed the image. Boom. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, where were we? We were looking at a can of this. We got Lima. We got Lima right here, dude. Non-GMO Lima. Look at that. We got we got chicken. We got Shrunky. Why is Zelda Shrunky? We got Ganondorf. Over here, guys. Pressing the Bowser on the Super Mario Maze Game DX Deluxe. I did not even know that existed, but that looks incredible. It's got 120,000 maze combinations. Wow, that's a lot. Look at that, guys. Adorable. We got Lily shorts down there. <laughs> guys, we got chicken taking a nap. Oh no, we've only got four more crud arts, guys. Let's go check them out, though. So DX that the deluxe is deluxe? Yes, dude. Yo, we got Lily shorts. So cute. There it is, guys. We got Mr. Piccolo right here. We've also got pressing the B button on the 3DS. And the final crud art for the session. Right here, dude. We got Lily shorts. Heck yeah. I got the hiccups for some reason. Guys, thank you so much for the crud art. Really appreciate that crud, guys. Always a fun time. And also, I'm gonna close this crud down. Ah, zooming through, zooming through. There we go, getting back over here. Blander, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Guys, we're gonna go ahead, take a sip of water, and wow, Carno actually making me drink some water right on cue. Let's drink some water, let's get back to some gameplay. We got cruds to kill. Okay, I'm actually gonna drink two waters here. Oh, there we go. Okay. You were literally the next crowd art. Oh no. I opened everything that was in when I uh when I checked it out. Sorry, dude. We'll get to more though. We will. Right after I get to some more water. Gosh dang it, dude. So I just drank some more water. So uh my boss, he and his wife apparently have been watching my stream for a very long time. And he told me that they have 160,000 channel points on my channel. So they could make me drink like 30 something waters whenever they feel like it. I'm like, please, no, dude, don't do that to me. All right, we got Watchog right here. Um, I do, doesn't Bidoof evolve into Watchog? We got Watchog, or we got Bidoof's older brother right here. But we're gonna go delete this guy with a little bit of Spike Cannon. Oh my gosh, Viddy the Otter making me drink some water. All right, let's do it. 
Oh, I did it. You can put a, a limit of how many times the channel point redemption can be picked per stream. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Did I just beat up a preschooler? What is wrong with me? Okay. With the lag behind us, let's keep on moving on. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go right up here and watch this. I am going to destroy this guy. Or maybe I can't because Crab Brawler's in the way. I don't know if they're going to let me go over here, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Oh, we got the truck. We could push that to get a Mew. Ooh, yeah, let's beat him up. Let's go, let's go. Is this a new game? Yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, we, um... Well, I'm not sure if you're asking if Pokemon Sun and Moon is a new game or if uh, this is a new file, but I started it last weekend, so I'm about three and a half hours in, something like that. Yo, Ick with the sub. Thank you so much, dude. All right, guys, let's go for Spike Cannon. Oddish is going to get destroyed. It's pretty much this entire game is chicken throwing chicken tendies at our opponents and just winning. Just like that. This is my first time I was able to catch, so only 498. Holy crud. Guys, just for my just just so I can keep track of this crud. Can you guys let me know in the chat right now how many channel points do you have? I need to know at any given point how much can you guys torture me with water if you all decided to collaborate. Okay, okay. It's looking like most of you could only do one water or zero. So that's good. That makes me feel a lot safer. Yo, this was a new area. Does anyone know if we can capture something here? Because I totally would. Ooh, can I beat up this guy? I cannot beat him up. Oh, we got a cave, guys. Sandy cave. I got to drink some water. Okay. Dude, it's always so confusing. If you're watching this on YouTube, you guys can't see it in the chat, but people are redeeming Twitch points to uh, make me drink water. So we're doing that. Okay. Let's find ourselves a Mew. Yo, we can actually catch this. Okay, okay. The sixth team member. Let's go. Pidgeot. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and smack him with a Nature's Madness. Oh my gosh, I gotta drink some more water. Okay. That didn't actually hit that hard, we're fine. Okay. Water is in. Let's go and do some Nature's Madness right here. Freeze Shock? What the crud is that? Yo, thank you for the 100 bits, East Asia man. Let's go for... I think I missed. <laughs> I think I actually missed, guys. But we're going to go for a Pokeball right here. We're going to catch this guy no big deal. Everybody knows Pidgeot is super easy to catch. So we're just going to hold down B. It's going to be very, very easy here. No breaking out. The only thing that's broken out is Togepi. Dude, we got him. That, is that a Cura move? Holy crud. So by the way, guys... um. Just for full transparency, there is an option in the randomizer to make catching easier, but you get five different levels of it, right? So if you set it to the highest level, level five, you every Pokemon has a 255 catch rate, the highest catch rate. But there's also level four, level three, level two, level one. I, I put things on level one, so it should still be pretty tough to catch things. I am genuinely getting lucky. The reason I put it on level one is just because with it not turned on it at all if we found a legendary the chances of us catching a legendary before running out of pokeballs is almost zero so i put it on one one point of catching assistance which i think it makes it something like a 15 percent chance to catch a legendary at low health something like that uh let's give it a nickname here uh let's see we have a bird guys what do we name this guy We can name him this. Guys, what is... What is the angriest word that is not a swear that you guys can think of? 
<laughs> pronounced gasp. Pico. <laughs> crud. Is, isn't crud kind of a swear word, though? <laughs> crud butt. Um... All right, guys, it's that time. We gotta go. We gotta go, do a randomizer. Random. Oh, guys, give me, give me five letters. Give me five letters. I'll go find the thing to scramble them. So, let's do word scrambler. Okay, okay, I see a few here. <laughs> a B C D E. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go do A, B, C, D, E. Unscramble it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work out, guys. A, G, B, L, R. Let's try that one. A, G, B, L, R. That might be lacking in vowels. We got one vowel, though. Brag? Garb? Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do this one. Guys, I am... Okay, we'll put balls in here. Guys, I am... I'm coming up with some blanks for this crud. Okay, we'll just do... We'll just do the worst name ever. Well, there is the name of our bird. They are the Avmaster 6000. I don't know why I named them that, but we're going to go take a look at their ability here. <laughs> All right, we got Flower Gift as our ability here. Man, that is a weird name, even by my standards. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Flower Gift boosts the attack and special defense stats on itself and allies in harsh sunlight, okay? We've also got Freeze Shock, Karate Chop, Confusion, and Zap Cannon. Um, all right, that's pretty cool. The Abmaster 6000 without gyms. That's true, we don't have any gyms, do we? So uh, that's kind of weird. But there's no gyms? Guys, you could do ab workouts anywhere, man. We're not doing some squats, we're just doing some ab workout. No big deal. Okay, we're gonna go and heal up real quick. I honestly don't know where the game is trying to take me right now. Probably north out that way. Ooh, we got a sticker right there. Are the stickers, like, replacing the Zygarde cells? Is that what these are are doing? I kind of see a route to the bottom right, so I might check that out. But real quick, I do want to go heal. Kind of wish I had a bike right now. <laughs> what is Freeze Shock? I think that's some QRM stuff. Stickers get you free totem Pokemon. That sounds kind of cool. It's the real Ab Master because he doesn't need gyms. There we go. Squats are an ab workout. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about working out. I'll be honest, guys. I So I've been wearing a step tracker lately, and it made me realize because my job is completely sedentary, all my hobbies are completely sedentary. Guys, if I don't intentionally increase my step count, I get like 3,000 steps a day. So I've been doing a challenge this week, which is not even a big challenge, but for me it is because I'm so sedentary. So I've, try I've been trying to walk 50,000 steps this week, which is only like 7,000 something per day. And uh, I'm on track. I just gotta do today and I'm good. Maybe next week I'll do like 55,000 or something. I'm, I'm sure most of you guys probably get over 50,000 or maybe even over 100,000 without even trying if you just have a job where you walk a bit more. Okay, I am not sure where I'm going. It's not Ab Master, it's B Master. The A is a lie. Okay, that makes sense. So we cannot capture this, but we can take a look at what it is. Oh my gosh. You know what, dude? I'm not even mad. Blastoise, cool as heck, but what we caught, what we actually caught in this area was a Mega Pinsir, so... 
I'm okay with that. Air slash going in. That might hurt. Okay, seven damage. Can I please run? There we go. I thought three to th four thousand steps a day is the, the norm. I mean, it might be, but I don't think that's a whole lot of walking. We got Destiny Knot right here. That sounds pretty tasty. I mean, three to four thousand is like... That's like pretty much just walking to the bathroom and to the kitchen to get food. Like, that's all the walking it is. I, I heard that 10,000 is more normal. All right, let's go beat up this guy. I don't know if you guys have realized, but I've been having chicken up front for like almost this entire episode. And I don't know if it's going to lead to things going wrong. We got Engineer Crystal here. Greninja? Holy crud, dude. Dad is an Ash Greninja. Okay, we got our work cut out for us here. Is this guy still Water and Dark type? Uh, we could go for... Jeez, I can just go for Spike Cannon. It's not Ab Master, it's AB Master. Yes, there we go. Okay, guys, we're going to go for Spike Cannon. We're not going to die to an Ash Grin. Okay, Thundershock, that's fine. He got the Paralyze. Dude, and I got stuck. What the crud game. It's okay, we got, we got Speed Claw, or Quick Claw. We're fine. Copycat? What you copying, bud? Oh no, he copied the Thunder Shock. Five damage. Watch this damage. Come on, get four. Get four. Four. Yes, dude. Yes. I can't get over how good this Dunsparce is. I think it's time to go for some care, guys. We need to clean this bad boy up. For anyone who didn't notice it, I, I mentioned it a few times, but I gotta call attention to it again because I'm so excited about it. We have adaptability as our ability on Dunsparce, so basically normal attacks are two times damage on this guy, so Spike Cannon is pretty good. It does 20 damage normally, up to 40 now, so it can do as much as 200 base power if we get all five swings. So Echoed Voice, let's see, let's see. Um, is that even good? No. <laughs> We're gonna skip on that one. Keep old moves. There we go. Psycho Boost? Hello, Ganondoof wanting to learn some Psycho Boost. All right. Guys, do you think I should get rid of Conversion? Should I get rid of Electro Ball? Maybe Flare Blitz? What do you think? We got the Psycho Boost? Yeah. Can a rule be if a Pokemon dies, you have to change your outfit? Sure, we can do that. Yeah, we might want to get rid of Flare Blitz. It is strong, but it also has recoil damage, which is very scary. So, but also Conversion. I think I'll get rid of Conversion for now, and then if I ever get another good move, we'll get rid of Flare Blitz. Let's do that. All right, Pickle O, growing. Dude, really? We're getting another Moongeist Beam. Holy crud. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Thundershock here. We don't need that crud anymore. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of Thundershock. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of Razor Wind. Because Razor Wind is a two-turn move. Not very good. You got a Bidoof? Dude, we got a Bidoof and a Dunsparce. Okay. <laughs> that is the perfect move for the Abmaster. Abmaster is learning growth. I don't think I actually want growth, but that's pretty funny. I mean, I guess that probably would be better than Confusion or Karate Chop. Um, I don't know, man. It's not that good. <laughs> Muscle Milk, yeah. You know what, guys? We'll get rid of Confusion. Confusion on a Pidgeot, not that big of a deal. We'll get some growth on the Ab Master. Anyone else fall in love with Dunsparce because of playing Pokemon Uranium? Dude, that's pretty much when I fell in love with Dunsparce, yeah. Alright guys, let's do some care. Yo, Besson, thank you so much for the sub. Here's my sub for all those nights watching you, thank you so much. Guys, we gotta do some brushing. Let's do a little bit of uh, this cloth here. Let's wipe away the paralysis. Okay, I guess they're already clean. I don't know how to wipe this crud away. Can we, can we do this? There we go. Come on. Come on. And... 
There it is, dude. Uh, what emulator is this? I'm playing on uh, an emulator called Citra. It does have some lag sometimes, but overall it seems to be working pretty well. You used to watch me as a kid. It's really cool to see you're still making content. Yo, what's up, dude? I make a lot less of it nowadays because I do have a different job now, but, you know, sometimes I do still come on here and get some stuff going. Guys, let's go to the bottom screen. I need you to see this. We're going to feed this dude an orange bean. Look at this. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. He's just munching on it, dude. One more, one more. Oh, he's full. There you go, buddy. All right, let's get out of here. Will Dunsparce get an evolution in Scarlet and Violet? I really hope so. I would love to have Dunsparce get an evolution. I just don't know if it'll actually happen, but that would be so cool. All right, guys, time for Pickle O to go up front. I'm got, I've got a feeling they're going to destroy this next trainer. You guys can't see this? Let me fix the screens. There we go. <laughs> but I, I swapped Pickle O up front. Okay, let's go see if we have anyone else we could beat up here. Like this kid. Dude, I feel like half of this game is me fighting preschoolers. What is going on, dude? We got Director Malcolm, one Pokemon. Come on, Piccolo. Let's go beat up a War Turtle. We got this. You can catch a new Pokemon. Really? Is this a new area? I, I don't think it is. Let's see. We I think we have Zap Cannon, right? No, we have Thundershock. I don't think Thundershock is better than Moongeist Beam, but we'll go for it anyways. Maybe we'll get to Paralyze. Get him. He has Moongeist Beam. Okay. Guys, isn't... Isn't Piccolo more of a physical attacker? You have a Mega Pinsir? Heck yeah, I do. Yeah, we got Mega Pinsir. We've got Pidgeot. Uh, we got Togepi. We're doing pretty good. He definitely is a physical attacker. Gotcha. Moon, Moon Guy's Beam must have replaced a fairly common move. Dude, a Quick Claw again. All right. Who else is pretty slow here? I think Shronky is slow. We'll give him that. But yeah, Moonguy's Beam seems to be popping up a lot, which is kind of scary. Whip the Dream. Okay. Uh, normal or Mega Pidgeot? Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's normal. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, that's definitely normal Pidgeot, so... Could be better, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. A little bit of lag right there, but let's move on. We got a ball to grab right here. I saw the TM on the outskirts, so we'll make sure we get that crud. Let's see. I think we have to go this way. Oh, we got to get through that grass if we want to get that. We can do it, though. There we go. Get ourselves a little bit of Magical Leaf. I don't know if that's going to be good for anyone. What do you guys think? Do you think Magical Leaf is worth getting? Let's go ahead and battle this person. New Pokemon. I'll check the map real quick just to make sure. We got Servant Noel, and their Pokemon is a Vanillish. Come on, dude. Okay, if they have an actual Ice Attack, getting same type attack bonus and super effective on my guy, that could hurt. Aside from that, though, I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna go for Moon Guy's Beam again. I think Piccolo is more of a physical attacker. This is a special attack, so that's not ideal, but it's still pretty strong. Ah, uh, didn't do as much as I was hoping, and Nightshade will do 9 damage here. You know what, guys? We're going to go ahead and swap. I like to play pretty cautiously. So we'll go over to... I'm thinking Shronky. Now, we do have a fire attack. You know what? You know what, guys? I think Ganondorf will not get hit by Nightshade because they're normal. And then I can go for a fire attack and get this guy knocked out. Yo, DL Dragon, welcome to the stream. It's not Route Zero Two. You're fine. Okay, they actually went for what the crud? My illusion. Uh, we're gonna go for Fusion Player here. So they didn't go for Nightshade, which kind of ruined my plan, but it still worked out. We're good. There we go, Pickle. Oh, growing. So what we really want to find out is why Lily Pants is learning Eruption. What is erupting in those pants? Actually, they're shorts. 
Guys, I don't want to know what's erupting in those shorts. Maybe uh, we ate uh, something kind of gross. Let's see. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think we're going to get that in place of skill swap. Because skill swap is so niche, right? <laughs> Hello! We got eruption! Heck yeah, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and forget skill swap. We are almost at the two hours. I know. I really hope I can finish this route at least. Guys, do you think we're relatively close to finishing this route? Because, I mean, the two hours... We don't have to be super strict with it. Like, if... If we get to two hours and we're almost done with an area, we can still just finish the area real quick before we wrap it up. Uh, how do I look at this map here? Okay, so we are currently in the... Are we in the cemetery right now? Because Howley Cemetery... So guys, basically the way that I'm counting this, I know this is all Route 2, but for the purpose of the Nuzlocke, I'm counting each of these sub-areas as an area. So the cemetery, the berry fields, the cavern. These would all be different areas. I doubt we can catch something in the Pokemon Center. So if we're in the cemetery, that's a new area. We're going to go ahead and catch that. I'm guessing Berry Fields was the main area that we were we caught uh, Piccolo in right over here. But yeah, it sounds like we can catch a new Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and do exactly that. Let's go put Chicken up front. You know what, guys? I'm going to be extremely cautious and go and use a potion on Chicken because... Like I said before, we have to protect the Dunsparce at all costs. Let's go ahead and do a potion. Do that crud right there. Berry Fields is a farm. Okay, okay. Well, let's go see what we got here, guys. A brand new member for the team. Okay, we got Floatzel. Let's go ahead and hit this guy with some Moon Crud. Forewarn. Hmm. Nature's Man is going in rolling kick. Okay. That was kind of an owie. Guys, would Dive Ball be good against Floatzel? Does it count only if they're Pokemon that you catch while fishing? Or does it count for all water Pokemon? Live underwater. Um, I'm guessing this would not count on Floatzel. It's only for fishing or surfing. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to go for Great Ball. I'm going to go ahead and try to catch him right now before he gets a chance to hit me again. So let's go, guys. Hold down that B button. Let's get this crutter. Come on. And there it is, guys. Dude, we've been having such good luck catching stuff this time. Like I said before, we do have a little bit of catch assistance from the randomizer, but not a lot. Like, not a lot to make up for this. Like, we sh we're just getting good luck. And I think the fact that we have Nature's Madness... Is helping us out a bit, but that guy's still at half HP. Ion Deluge. The user disperses electrically and will it charge particles, which changes normal type moves to electric type moves. Huh. Why would I want to do that? That is strange. I don't think I want that, because I kind of like having my moves be normal type moves. Wait, does it say electric to normal? No, it's normal to electric, so I don't want that, crud. That, yeah, that would actually be bad for chicken. Keep old moves. Oh, Helioptile move. Gotcha. Oh, guys. You know what? You know what, guys? I've been picking some weird nicknames today. I'm going to let you guys name this one. What do we name Floatzel? I'll pick someone's name from the chat. I'm not going to change it at all. However you guys post it, I'll choose one of them. Pass? I'm not going to name him Pass. That's a little mean. <laughs> Affleck? <laughs> Burrito? Dude... That is such a good name. Guys, I'm going to go with that one. That's a good name. Guys, imagine this. An entire boat. But it's actually a giant pretzel. We got boats all. Let's go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... See the summary real quick, and see if we want to add them to the team in place of anyone we have. So, we've got Worry Seed, Leaf Tornado, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's pretty good. And then we have Rolling Kick. Um, our ability is Forewarn. We kind of already knew about that, so I don't know if that's something really that useful. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of leaning towards putting this guy in the box. Thunderbolt is huge. That is true. That is true. Thunderbolt is pretty big. 
I don't know how big it is on a floatzel, but that's a pretty good move. Yo, Pokemon Gamer Derpster, welcome to the stream. We're gonna send this guy to the box though for sure. Get him out of here, dude. All right, I think we're done with this cemetery. I'm gonna go and swap Dunsparce out of the front because they've taken a little bit of damage. We'll go ahead and put Shronky back up front here. Shronky is kind of our, our, safe, our safe choice. So let's run on through and go on to the north. I think we're almost done with Route 2. Once we're done with Route 2, we're probably gonna end up wrapping it up for the day, but we'll get there first. Let's go see what we can do here. So over here we had an area we couldn't get to. Yeah, this guy's blocking me. Will he not even let me go to the north either? Do I have to go inside that little house? Yeah, he won't let me go up here either. What the crud? All right, well in that case, I guess we're going inside this house, huh? Let's do it. Are levels random? No, we don't have levels randomized. We have the move sets, the evolutions. Um, TM compatibility is random. Yo, I can take a nap. There is a... The sad, musty odor of an old bed that no one has slept in for a long time. That is sad. Okay. Thanks a lot, game. You go west. Really? I'll try that, but I, I could have swore they blocked me from going that way. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. We can just go right over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I went down here. I knew that. So what are we actually doing? Does anyone know what we're actually doing? I, I guess there's an icon down here, so we do have to go down this way. Maybe we go talk to her? There we go. Little cousin. I'm a little cousin, guys. Time to go for a big blooper surfing safari. Team Skull, please no. Guys, let's go on a blooper surfing safari. Or not. Um. Okay, we're done. Let's leave. No, don't do this to me, game. We have a dude. They're right there. Dudes. Can we get some skull emotes in the chat? Because it is happening. We got the stinky pizzas. We got the... I guess these guys could be like Doritos. It's, it's, we could bring the Doritos back. I'm okay with that. Don't steal my blooper. How dare you? Have you ever thought about doing evolve every level? I didn't see that option. I would love to do something like that one of these years, but I didn't even see an option for something like that. Guys, we have the final battle against Man Stacy. All right, Stacy, bring it on. Slow King. That might be tough, but I'm pretty sure Bug Buzz is just gonna destroy this guy. Bug Buzz is pretty powerful and uh, this guy's part psychic, so let's go for it. Bug Buzz going in. Extreme speed. Five damage. Like I'm scared of that crud, dude. There we go. Ganondoof only six levels away. Once we get Ganondoof to 20, that is what we really want to see. I don't know what level that uh, Lily Shorts is going to evolve our Togepi. They're going to go mess with Lima again. Okay. But yeah, um, we have the friendship evolutions happening via level. So Togepi should evolve by leveling up. I just don't know what level they're going to evolve at. So that's kind of the big mystery right now. So now I think we can leave. Unless we can go up there now. Let's go check that out. Do we have another new area? Let's find out. This is definitely not a new area, but I don't think we've caught something for this area yet anyways. We got a smoke ball, though. That's pretty cool. Don't read the psycho. Gosh dang it. I think it's the first time this year I've gotten hit by one of those. All right, we're going to go back up. going to go back around here, and let's zoom on down. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is get out of this place, and then we're going to hopefully be able to go north now. They might make me go inside this house or something. No, Crab Brawler's gone. Okay, so we're good. All right, let's go beat up this guy. And I think the berry fields are right over to the side there, so we might be able to get something there as well. Look at this, guys. We got Rocker Dudley. I don't know if he's like a rock star or if he's a rocking chair. Not exactly sure on that. But we got Anorith going in. Shronky going in. Let's 
go see if we can slap this dude. Maybe do a little bit of Moongeist Beam. I'm pretty sure this guy is Bug and Rock type. So we'll go smack him with this and see if it does some good damage here. Quick Claw. He looks exactly like Grandpa Max. What is that from? Ooh, get him with that one shot. Dude, we're doing pretty good today. All right. Is it just me or are you only beating up children and the elderly? Pretty much. That's pretty much right. Okay, guys. I don't know if we can actually catch something here. But it is a new area, and we do have a sticker down this way, so we'll at least grab that. Ooh, and a ball. All right, three totem stickers. Back over this way, we got ourselves another item. An absorb -burb. We now face the wrath of Gary. Heck yeah, dude. I think we can't catch anything here, though. Which is totally fine. I mean, we've got a full team at this point, so I'm not super worried about that. We might be able to get something from this tree. Because I kind of vaguely remember getting ambushed if you check the tree. I got an icy rock. Dude, what it, What the crud is icy rock? It's a berry tree. Yeah! Okay, I thought we would get ambushed, but I guess not. Uh, what else could we do? Yo, what's up, Tossing? I'm going to try to get the first episode of the stream up tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll get this one up maybe like Saturday or something like that. Just a heads up, guys. You probably, you might have heard me say this before, but I unfortunately am just not going to have the time or the energy for that matter to do the highlights this year. I know a lot of people like to watch those highlights, but unfortunately we're just doing the streams and the uh, the full videos this year. Um, it was kind of between doing that or just skipping it, and I figured, you know what, let's at least, I I'd rather do the full videos than do nothing, so that's how we're going to be doing it here. I just randomized the berry tree? I guess so. Oh, there we go, guys. We got some pizza time up in here. When's the next stream going to be? I've kind of been targeting Sundays. Um, I might end up changing it up. I'll let you guys know on Twitter if I do. For now, we're going to be targeting uh, Sundays at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern is the starting time. Okay, okay. Um, Wait, did that change to a new area? I don't think it did, did it? I think this is still Route 2. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead and just skip the grass here as much as we can. Because we've already caught something for this route. we got to keep on moving. Do you still do YouTube? Kind of. Um, it's more of just a hobby now. Because I, I do have a, a full-time career now outside of YouTube. So sometimes I just feel like posting a video. So I do. But, you know. I'm kind of just living my life outside of YouTube a lot more lately. we got Arya Dos right there. That's pretty cool. I'm just hopping in. Hope I didn't miss much. Man, we're only on Route 2, so I guess progress has been a little bit slow, but we got some cool Pokemon on the team. We've got the Seismitoad right here. We've got Dunsparce and Togepi and uh, Bidoof. We've even got a Mega Pinsir, so we're doing pretty good on the catches. And as far as I can remember, guys, on this attempt, so we did, this is the second attempt. The first attempt at this challenge died on the first battle, so aside from that, I'm pretty sure this attempt, we've had zero deaths so far. We're doing really good. Guys, wasn't it last year that we had, like, almost no deaths for the entire year? And then, and then like, right in, like, the last two episodes, it just all started falling apart. All right, here we are. Do I have to battle how again? Zero deaths for now. Oh, jeez. Uh, can you talk about what you do uh, in real life? So, yeah, I got a job as a software engineer, just doing, like, web development stuff. So, that's kind of my job now. I started two months ago now. So, that's my... Gosh dang it, revives. That's what I do now for to make a living instead of posting YouTube stuff. And honestly, I'm not, I'm not like, sad about it or anything like that. You know, I, I love YouTube, and I've had a great time doing it for, like, a decade or however long I... Uh, did it, but I'm kind of okay to move on too. you know, it's it was really fun, but You know the variety is the spice of life. So it's pretty cool to have a different career and see where that goes, you know <laughs> It's gotta be way more reliable than YouTube. Yeah, yeah The thing is guys wait, what did how say? Roto Lodo what the crud 
the thing is, guys, like, I was never one of these, like, super mega big YouTubers. Um, I, I mean, I made enough money to, like, get by, and in some of my better years, I actually earned pretty decent money, but, like, as an entry-level, entry-level software engineer, and to be fair, software engineers are pretty good pay, but, like, entry-level software engineer, I make way, way more than I ever did on YouTube, even in my best years. So, like, it definitely is a lot more of a comfy life for the fam. I don't know what how wants me to do here. Oh, I have to tap the eyes. Okay, thank you. There we go, dude. Spinning that crud up. There we go. We got the up arrows. Just like a random side note, guys, but if any of you have ever been considering doing YouTube as an actual job, like, if you guys want, like, cut the fluff and just, like, talk about business, feel free to hit me up anytime on Discord DMs. Like, I will give you guys all the info, all the advice that I have, but, uh, and I'll, but I'll give you the harsh realities of, like, trying to make this crud go as a job as well. Like, if you guys just want the reality of what it's like to be a YouTuber, um, and you're actually considering doing it as a job, I can let you know what you're in for. I'll give you all the goods, all the downs, like all that stuff. Like, I'm, I'm an open book with that kind of stuff. So if you guys ever have any questions about that, um, you know, as pursuing it as a job, just let me know and I'll give you all the advice I can. I want all the deets on becoming a software engineer. To look... I mean, yeah, I, I would be happy to help with that as well, because the thing is, guys, about 14 months ago now, so, like, I think it was, like, April or May, April or May of last year, I typed my first line of code. So, basically, I went from knowing absolutely nothing about code to getting a job in about a year, and I did it all self-study, so, like, it's very doable. Like, you can, you can learn to code at home, um... And you can do it online with stuff for free. You can just watch tutorials and stuff on YouTube. But the thing is, there's a lot of very, very good beginner resources. And once you get to the intermediate phase, it is, like, very confusing and hard to find any guidance. So I would be happy to give some advice on how I handle things. Because uh, that actually helped me a lot. I, last year, I reached out and I said, hey, does anyone have any advice on coding when I was learning? And it really, really helped a lot. So I would be happy to, to do that for you guys as well. If, uh, if anyone is thinking about getting started on learning that. Time for squats, dude, I wish. The trial of Captain Lima. Oh my gosh, dude. Trial start. Shoo shoo. Oh my gosh. Guys, okay, okay, hold on guys. Put a little pause right here. Does anyone know how long this trial is? Because we are like just about at the two hour mark. Is this like short enough that we could just wrap it up in like less than 20 minutes, do you guys think? What programming language did you learn? I learned web dev, so like HTML, CSS, JavaScript mostly. 20 minutes tops? Less than 20 minutes? Okay, okay, let's do it, guys. Let's do this challenge. Here we go. And we might be able to... Ooh, dude, we could evolve our Glaceon into an Eevee with this stone? Or we can capture us... Ooh, we can capture us a stinking Skarmory. Let's go. I... I kind of forgot we could catch something here, so I don't have my guy up front. Although I think Steel is immune to fairy anyway, so I couldn't use Chicken to weaken this dude. I could go for some extreme speed. He'll resist it, so it's not going to do that much damage. Oh, I, I can't catch during trial. Okay, okay, this doesn't count then. This does not count. Run away! There's no running. Okay, okay, got it. So we actually do have to kill it. Let's go for some Moongeist Beam in that case. So we'll blast this dude. Get him out of here. Not bad. Ominous wind going in. That's totally fine. I kind of want to go for more Moongeist Beam, but I also don't want to waste my very limited supply of peepees. So let's go for Dragon Rush here and just not miss. He I missed. Good. I've lost my Pokemon knowledge, dude. That's every year, man. I am like the worst Pokemon player that has been playing for 20 years that exists. I mean, the main truth of the matter is, guys, to give myself as much credit as possible, 
The truth of the matter is I'm just lazy as... <laughs> I'm just so lazy. So, uh... Yeah, we got Fly. Fly on it, Master. let's go. Get out of here, Karate Chop. But yeah, I'm just super lazy, so I usually just, uh... My brain is like half off while I play, you know? I don't got time for these big brain plays. Okay, we got two more Pokemon to defeat. He dropped a Sparkle. A clever wing. Wow, so smart. There's so much Pokemon knowledge to keep track of. Yeah. No, I jumped, dude. Like, I've watched... Ooh, a ball. A blue flute. Okay. I've watched content of people doing, like, really hard Pokemon challenges, and it's... It is kind of interesting, the the big brain stuff people do to complete these challenges. But personally, I'm not super interested in knowledge-based difficulty. I'm more of a fan of, like, I'm really into playing fighting games. I love, like, the technical, like, the technical ability of, like, putting in combos and, you know, reading the mind of your opponent. And to be fair, there actually is a fair bit of mind reading of opponents um, in player versus player Pokemon. But uh, I, I'm more into that stuff rather than just like knowing a huge list of knowledge. And, and I guess, I guess again, to be fair, there's actually quite a lot of knowledge in fighting games as well because you have to know like different properties of all the different moves. So, I mean, there is that as well, but I don't know. I just really like fighting games more for competitive stuff than, uh, than stuff like Pokemon. Over there? Oh, you crud. Dude, how does the shiny only run work? Do they have to, like, shiny hunt every single Pokemon or something like that? Yo, Sonic King and Nate. How's it going, guys? Yeah, so the wild Pokemon are randomized, but also the trainers. So trainers could have any random Pokemon, including random forms. So they could just, like, randomly have a mega Pokemon. Um, on top of that, evolutions are randomized, so whenever my Pokemon evolve, they will turn into who knows what, and the movesets are randomized as well, so I just have really weird moves. It's kind of, kind of fun. Oh yeah, abilities as well, so abilities are randomized. Pretty much everything is random except for, uh, types. Pokemon do not have random types, and stats are not random as well. I just find that... Mandana. I thought it said Madonna for a second. We got Mandana right here with Gallade. Is that Mega Gallade? Did I just say we could run into a Mega and then it happened? Oh my gosh, dude. He's got Snow Warning. Okay, but it's only level 11, so we might be fine. Guys, what type is Gallade? Are they Fighting and Fairy? Is that right? Fighting Fairy might be... Jeez, not weak to anything that I have here, right? I could go for Extreme Speed. That'd probably still be fine. Oh, Fighting Psychic, right. In that case, would Moon Guy's Beam actually be good? Or... It... Yeah, I think that would be good, right? I don't think Fighting Resist it. Yeah, let's do Moon Guy's Beam here. Oh, we got the Quick Claw. Let's go. This actually might one-shot, dude. If he's weak to this product, he's only level 11. Yes, we got him. Mega Gallade going down in one shot. Dude, it's so easy. It's just like that. Honestly, guys, Shronky is kind of overpowered. I need to swap this guy out. He's getting too strong. Take that, Mandana. Man, these guys are so cool. They got, like, the zippers up the sides of their pants. Okay, so with that done, I think we can go out the back and... Okay, don't be running back at me, bud. Isn't this the part of the game where you, like, go and fight Mokoko? Like, you go out the back and you fight the dragon guy? You know what, dude? I think it's time for Ab Master 6000 to show us how powerful those abs are. Have you ever played RuneScape? I actually did, but very briefly. I probably played for, like, an hour. <laughs> I, I played it very, very briefly. I did watch Swampletics on YouTube. Does that count? Let's go beat up this guy. Okay, I guess we're still trying to do something here. I think we got to look inside this one. No? Okay, we'll keep looking around here. Oh, Como O. That's that's what their name are. Name is. <laughs> Crunch those abs. Yeah! I think we have to go to this one in the middle here. But I got to figure out how to get down to that. Aha! There we go. Scram! No, dude, the run is dead. 
There is no way we can win. Oh no. Come on, Ab Master. Just do your best, buddy. You got this. He's got Dark Aura. Okay, Caterpie with the Dark Aura. Let's go for... Let's go for Fly. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Come on. Please get him. Yes, we did it. Okay. Whew, that was a close one, guys. The run was almost completely over right there. Still one more Pokemon to defeat. Where? We might have to do a little bit of backtracking. There might be a tunnel that I forgot to check, but those guys are blocking off those two. So I'm thinking we should go down this way, maybe, and check here. Nothing in that one. Yeah, that was the first one we did, so we've already done that. Oh, maybe this one. Three, Dude, he just read at me. He's like, get out of my swamp. Okay, we got Blitzel. Let's go. Petition to name the next Pokemon Scram. We could do that. Psycho, I forgot you existed. I forget that sometimes too, Sleepy. How's it going, dude? Okay, let's go for a Freeze Shock right here. Iron Defense. I think Free Shock is a special attack, right? So hopefully that doesn't actually matter. Get him, bud. Get him. Oh, it didn't get him. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, we're going to swap. Let's go on to... Uh... Honestly, I think we're going to go to Chicken. <laughs> because Chicken is probably our uh, strongest guy that can actually take a hit from electric here discharge going in kind of gross 10 damage that's totally fine we're gonna go for a sp actually we'll go for boomerang it might miss though we're good we got him my my abs are tingling guys what's with the shoe what is the shoe like a thing that i don't recognize what's with the shoes Go for a potion here on Ab Master. Get them back to full. Here it is, guys. We're about to go back and get this crud dead. We're going to go and fight Como O or Makoko or whatever they are. Makoko, we got to go collect our Makoko seeds. That's what we're doing. I think my first Psycho video was either the Donkey Kong Country Glitch Fest or the Pokemon Yellow Glitch Quest. Dude, those were some fun times. Cursor. Oh, dang it. I moved it. I moved it. That's what the shoe is. Oh my gosh, it's the cursor. Dude, I thought, dude, this whole time I thought you guys were talking about the random Pokemon we were finding. Oh my gosh, the cursor, right. Okay, I got it, guys. The cursor's gone. We did it. The cursor is finally off the screen. We got Verdant Cavern Totem's Den right here. We can finally move on with our life. Let's go in. Wait, can we catch this guy? I might want to heal up Chicken if we're going to try to catch this dude. Um, PP Max. Cool. Uh, let's see. We got fresh water. That's pretty good. New 3DS mod. Okay, if we can't catch him, then I don't have to worry about using Nature's Madness. Let's go in, guys. Who is the strong dragon Pokemon for us to fight? The Totem. Will I take the Z Crystal? Of course I will. I will become a Z Warrior. Oh, no! It's an Alolan Raticate! He says... S -s 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 -s. <laughs> no. Psych! It's this guy, Totem Bear Tick! Holy crud. That's scary. Its stats rose sharply. The run's not gonna end here, right? Oh, gosh, she's got an ice dude. Do I want to use any of this? The answer is no. I want to swap out immediately. Who are we going to? Guys, Ganondoof has a fire attack. Ganondoof could be really good. Um, Totem, <laughs> Totem, why? I think we're going to go for Ganondoof. Don't risk. Who would I go to? It has two times all stats. Guys, do I just go for Fly and see what he does? I could go for Fly and try to gather data. I could go for Zap Cannon and hopefully get lucky. Ganondoof needs to survive. You're right. 
Okay, Drew Friel, thank you so much for the sub. If he has ice, you're done. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. I think I'm going to go for fly and try to gather some data. See what this guy is going to do. Remember, guys, he's only level 12. Maybe we'll be fine. What does he do? Brave bird. Oh, no. Do not call out more bear ticks. Meow stick. What the crud? Okay. Okay. Maybe fly was not the right move. Get him. That's it? Okay, okay. Conversion 2. What have you just done to me? Transform to an electric type. That's probably fine. I think I'm going to try it, guys. 50% chance. We got to do the coin flip. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do it on Bear Tick. We're not going to miss, guys. Let's get that paralyzed right now. Yes! We got the paralyzed. Okay, okay. We won the coin flip. Got that guy paralyzed. Brave Bird going in. Does that hurt? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, four, four HP. Okay. No, dude. No, he's got my hams. Dude. Well, dynamic punch. I'm definitely not putting chicken out there. I'm not putting Ganondoop out there. Pickle. What about Pickle? Pickle can knock out Bear Tick, and then Dynamic Punch not going to do crud, right? Dude, our abs got obliterated. We're back to being flabby. Oh my gosh. That's right. When a Pokemon dies, we have to change our outfit. Okay. Pickle is quad resistance to that Dynamic Punch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pickle O going in. We can go ahead and do Moon Guy's Beam, take down Bear Tick, and then we'll just go from there. Actually, Moongeist Beam would be super effective on Meowstic, right? I don't want to. I don't want to let Bear Tick survive because he's gonna Brave Bird me. So we're gonna get him out first. But if we can survive Meowstic, we're going to destroy that guy. Uh. So D Punch is gonna confuse me. That's not good. We can swap out though. Let's just get Bear Tick out of here. Moongeist Beam going in. Our first death already, dude. It's only day two. Receiver. Corrosion. Good experience. There we go. We need this experience right now. Chicken. Yes. Yes. Ganondoof. Yes. Dude. There we go. Furry attack. That's fine. One damage per swing. Only gets two of them. There we go, guys. Moon Guys Beam for the win. There's no way. There's no way to survive this. Be honest, guys. If we did not get hit by... That wasn't super effective. What the crud type is this, dude? But, guys, if... um, If they didn't get a critical hit on that Brave Bird, do you think we would have survived? Right. It used conversion, too. I forgot. I forgot. He's actually electric right now. Yep. That's fine. Now he's going to convert on over to normal. Okay, well, we're going to just go for a, a uh, Thundershock here. Wrap it up. There we go, guys. So we lost our Ab Master, but aside from that, we win. We got our Z Crystal. We can now become... Whoa! Why is he evolving? I thought he evolved at 20. Apparently, he evolves at 15 in this game. Ganondoof is evolving. Here we go. What is it going to be? Come on, Zekrom. Let's go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. What the crud? We got a Rotom fan? I don't know if that's good. I don't actually know if Rotom is good. Uh, I'm going to check the stats. He wants to learn Bug Buzz. That's kind of cool. Guys, oh, never mind. For a second there, I thought I had Tail Glow. That's a different guy. Yo, that special attack is kind of good. Dude, look at the speed and special attack on this guy. Look at the defense stats. Okay. Um, Psycho Boost and Bug Buzz with that. That's pretty good. Fusion Flare. Yo, let's get rid of Electro Ball. I think this actually might be really good. 
He's got a pretty good special attack stat, and we have a phenomenal moveset, so I think we're good. Chatter. Do I want Chatter? <laughs> it's one of you guys. Hmm. We could confuse the target, but it's only 65 power. Electro Ball would have been very good. Well, crud. I just got rid of my only stab move. Whoops. Dude, I'm not very smart. I should have got rid of Flare Blitz instead, but I'll just get rid of it now. So just pretend I didn't get rid of Electro Ball, guys. Did its ability change? It should. It should be different. It's okay, guys. Um, Can we use a golden bottle cap to relearn a move? Because I got a golden bottle cap. Do not battle me right now, Lima. What the crud? Okay, so we're getting our first Z-Crystal right here. That's pretty cool. Oh, we need a heart scale. Okay. Trial complete! Wow, look at us go! <laughs> we got the Normalium Z. That's actually going to be pretty good for Dunsparce. This, this Nuzlocke will be going on YouTube, but only in full stream version. I, I don't have the time for highlights this year, unfortunately. But I will put the VODs up. I'll put the VODs up on YouTube. I'll get the first one up tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, we'll go from there. The move reeler is after the Elite Four. Okay. Yo, Lima gave me 10 great balls. I'll take those. <laughs> Pose like Sailor Moon. Heck yeah, dude. He healed me up as well, so I'll take that. Even though Abmaster 6000 can never be healed. I did see an item up top, but it looks like we're hiding behind some rocks. So that's not going to work out. But all right, guys, we are well past the two hour mark that I normally go for. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up for today. It makes me a little bit sad knowing once we get back, we're going to have to release Abmaster as soon as we get to a new town. <laughs> Sonic nerd just showing up. I'm sorry, man. We're wrapping it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, even though we just had a death. We'll come back next time. We'll release Abmaster. We're going to go and change our outfit because I guess we're changing our outfit whenever a Pokemon dies. And uh, we'll hopefully not have any more deaths. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Cursor.